Your body drive me crazy. Your body need a license fit. Your body are too tight and neat. Anybody who got eyes can see. She just wanna dance and tease. She just wanna dance and tease. She just wanna dance and tease me. She just wanna dance and tease me. She just wanna dance and tease. Alright guys, so to start off, I'm just going to do a little unboxing, well unbagging, because Medulla's wigs come in a bag like this with their name on it. Um, inside the bag, I already took my wig out, but they sent me a lot of goodies actually. They sent me this little baggie, and it came with a new cap, an edge band. They sent me a brush. Let me just take it out. I think a lot of the hair companies are pretty much sending the same thing because I got a brush like this with my last wig that I received. Some lashes. I actually never wear the lashes that come in my hair packages because they're always like way way too thick and y'all know i love a good lash but it has to be like the right style and the right the right length and style for my eyes so i usually don't use those but let's see what else is in the bag i have another wig cap i also got a robe I absolutely love when I receive these little robes, y'all. <laughs> I do so many hair tutorials and I'm always receiving these robes. I've given my mom one, my sister one, <laughs> my grandma, the pink one um, from another hair company. So robes always come in handy. And we got another edge band. This one actually matches the robe. And then here is our wig. So. The wig that we're gonna be reviewing in today's video is the Kinky Straight Texture wig from Nadula Hair Company. Um, as you guys seen in my last video, I did do like a Kinky Straight Texture, but it had a lace on it. So I definitely wanted to try out the Kinky Texture with my natural hair. So that's why I got like a, a U part this time, y'all. Um, this is what the wig look like right out of the bag. As you can see in the roots, it's more of like a wave than like being straight. As you get to the bottom, it's more of like that kinky straight texture. So most likely once I put it on, I am gonna like straighten the top out. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, if I wanna curl it or keep it straight. I'm just gonna see, like I guess it depends on how it blends in with my natural hair texture. This is the inside of the wig. It comes with like clips on the side, clips at the top, so that you can just go ahead and put it right into your braids. Um, clips in the back, a little adjustable. It's not an actual adjustable strap, but I do like to take these two little clips in the back and clip them together. That way the wig fits like really, really snug and tight on my head. So yeah, that's the construction of the cap. I'm gonna go ahead and take my turban off, my scarf. I know you guys actually told me in another video that you like when I wear my scarves, like my hair turbaned and tied up like this. So let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see a tutorial on how I do my head wraps because I do be wearing like different styles. I'll wear it like twisted, I'll wear it braided. This, I think this is my favorite style to wear it like just up in like a bun. Give me an extra head in the front. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you guys wanna see a tutorial on how I wrap my head wraps, just let me know in the comments and that will be my next tutorial. So yeah, let's go ahead and try this baby on. First of all, this is what my hair looks like underneath of my scarf. 
So yeah, here is my braid for my leave out. And then I just have some braids going straight back on the sides. They are old, they are kind of crusty. So don't mind them. The only hair that we really want to worry about is this hair in the front because that's the hair that's going to be seen once we put our wig on. I'm going to go ahead and put the wig on now. Well, first, I'm going to cut off this extra lace. I always, literally always forget to cut it off. And then I look back at my videos and I can see the lace like in the back of my head. So first, before we even get started, I'm going to go ahead and cut this lace off the back. But that's done. Now let's go ahead and put this wig on. I really want to make sure that I left out enough hair. I think I did because I feel like I left out a lot of hair. Honestly, that braid is kind of big. So let's just go ahead and put it on now. Literally the easiest wig ever. I'm putting it on, that little clip band thingy in the back. I just went ahead and shifted that behind or underneath, I should say, of my braids. I'm taking the clips on the sides and just clipping that into my braids as well. I purposely did not leave any hair out on the sides, y'all, because I just don't wanna have to maintain it and I do wanna wear this wig for a couple days. So that's why I really didn't leave any underneath there. This is what it looks like so far. It looks like if my hair was washed and I just blow dried it, this is what the texture would most likely look like. Maybe a little bit less curly but more so the texture at the bottom is more of what my natural hair texture would look like. I like the natural look. I like that it's um, nice and full. So this is their 24 inch um, U-part kinky straight wig. And it is 150% density. They do have these two straps on the U-part wig that will not be needed for us to keep the wig on. Um, I guess it's just there to keep the wig in place for when you order it and then you cut it, you know, to your liking. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut those two straps off. One thing I will stress is that your braids on the side of your leave out are a little bit closer. I wish that I would have took the time to like re-braid my hair so that the braids on the side of my leave out were a little bit closer because that would act as like a anchor, like anchor braids so that the clips can go right inside of them. Mine are like right inside of my braids on the side of my leave out, but it did loosen up a lot once I cut these little straps off and I can feel that it kind of like just slipped down to like where my braids are. So if you can see it, it's close enough, but I just know for next time to like braid my braids around my leave out a little bit closer. Now it's time to try to blend this with the hair. All right, let's get into it. All right, y'all. So as you can see, the top of my hair looks crazy to start off i'm gonna go ahead and grab my rat tail comb and part it straight in the middle for some reason i can never find like the exact middle of my head <laughs> i know the last middle part you part wig that i did people were in the comments like girl that is not the middle of your head but um i don't know for some reason i can never find like the exact middle of my hair. There we go. I'm trying to like comb it in with the hair just to get a feel for 
how it's gonna look. So there, I think that's the middle. If it's not, that is the closest that we're gonna get to the middle of the head. <laughs> So like I said, just combing the hair with my hair, just to see how it's blending. I always call these little U part wigs 10 minute sew-ins because literally you can get the look of a sew-in in like 10 minutes. <laughs> it didn't take me no time to just put that on. Look at that. And that's my natural hair texture at the top. This looks so Good. Of course, I'm not gonna leave it like this, but I really am just admiring how well they got the texture. Look at that. Honestly, for my natural hair girls that don't wanna put no heat on your hair and you just wanna get up and go, you could literally wear it like this. I mean, not like this. Of course, you have to fix it up a little bit better than this. But you can wear it without putting any heat in your natural hair. Um, just from my braids, you know, I had that big braid in the front of my hair. Just from taking out the braid, my natural hair is pretty wavy. So it is kind of matching the wave of the top of this wig. It looks really good. It really does. It looks really, really good in my opinion. Um, but like I said, I'm not gonna keep it like this. So let's get it together. Guys, to start off, I'm gonna be using my Aloe Hair Polisher Oil. I don't know if you can see it. I feel like the light is kind of bright. But I'm gonna take that in my hand and rub it all over my natural hair, mushing it in with my hair and the hair, if that makes sense. And now I'm just gonna take my hot comb once it cools down a little bit and I'm just gonna press my real hair and the top of the hair on the wig. And y'all, I'm trying to really make sure that this hot comb is not too hot because I do not want to burn <laughs> my natural hair. I barely, I'm one of those people that barely put heat on my natural hair either. As y'all see, I switch my wigs up like every week so most of the time my hair is under braids. I'm barely putting heat on it. So I don't wanna put like too, too much heat, but I do wanna get it a little bit straighter. All right guys, so now that the top of my hair is like straight enough to match the texture of the wig, I literally love it. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love how natural it looks. I wanna turn around to the back. I love how natural it looks. Literally, it's given scalp. It's given my hair grew overnight. It's given I've been growing my hair for 12 years. <laughs> it really looks like it could be my natural hair. And the scalp of everything, it's like perfect. So I decided y'all that I want to do wine curls. I always want to do, but it's that I don't You got something real nothing. Most of these things I don't want to say. I don't want to be around while 
you chase. You don't want to hear me up when you're late. Do try and come back when you're famous. I always want to do but it's dangerous. You got something real, not basic. You want to get with me, stop. Alright guys, so I got done one side. I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole thing and I'll be back. Alright guys, so after wand curling my entire head, this is how it looks. It looks so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. I'm gonna take some of my Fantasia Super Holding Spritz Spray and just spray my curls to make sure that they don't drop really easily. Spray a little bit on my hair too. And now I'm gonna take my 24 hour Max Hold Wax Stick. Y'all know, this is my holy grail. I use this thing in almost every video. I'm just gonna take it and flatten down the top of my hair. I just feel like it, it makes it blend a little bit better. Now this curl, y'all, I can tell, I can see that my part is not in the middle, but guess what? I don't care, cause my curls look popping. <laughs> I absolutely love it, y'all. So this is pretty much the finished look. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I want to pull the curls out just a little bit. I'm not going to pull them out, but I am going to like stretch them just a tad bit. Just like pull them a little bit to give it more volume. And yes. This is the finished look, y'all. I'm not gonna use no edge control or baby hairs or any of that. I'm not gonna do any of that with this wig because I just want it to look natural, like it's growing out of my scalp. And I think it's giving that, I do. Let me know in the comments if you like it. Um, I'll definitely leave all the links to Nadula Hair Company's website along with this wig if you're interested in purchasing it i'll put all the details down below in my description box thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys on my next tutorial bye guys Thank you.